I have a lot of reasons to believe that XRP and the rest of the markets are going to have a rather significant correction in the very near future. This is something that I have confidence in. Because of this, I am making the video that I am going to share with you today in order to provide you with some really important knowledge that you can incorporate into your trading adventure in order to save yourself or even maybe make yourself a significant amount of money during your journey. In the following, we are going to discuss everything that has to do with the stock market, including the current major manipulation that has been taking place there. Specifically, Jerome Powell and certain things that he has discussed in relation to the economy as a whole and employment opportunities, which are actually very important. Uh, moreover, we are going to be typing a little bit into a well-known YouTuber by the name of Cryptosaurus, who discussed all of these topics in a recent video as well. This is something that we are going to do. I would appreciate it if you could all click the like button, ladies and gentlemen. The significance of this one cannot be overstated. It is essential that everyone sees it. And now let's begin watching the video. As a result, I will initially begin in relation to Crypto's RS and a statement that he made not too long ago in a video that he released to YouTube, which I actually agree with. In that case, I would like to begin with this. Let's pay attention to what he has to say in this situation. Furthermore, if the employment report that is released on Friday is terrible for some reason, or even worse than predicted, let's just pretend that it is worse than expected, then that provides him with another ammunition to reduce the number of positions, right? The proportion is almost the same as it was the week before and the week before that, therefore it is currently the same. At 33%, 50 basis points, 67%, and 25 basis points respectively, we observed a decline in the numbers of inflation. Last week it was only stated that the PCU had come down. The inflation rate as a whole is exactly where he wants it to be. That means that it is now the same as the workforce, right? Market for hiring. And individuals without jobs. Consequently, if those results are lower than anticipated, it will unquestionably result in an increase in that percentage for the rate reduction. That's the case. It's true. There is a significant point there, right? In light of this, we are going to delve a little bit deeper into that, since first and foremost, that is the most important thing, right? In the first place, if you guys aren't aware, the fact that drone power has lowered the rates is a tremendously positive indicator. This is because it basically indicates that the cost of loan has just gone down, which leads people to have more disposable money to invest. In addition, this is true for XRP, Bitcoin, the entire stock market, real estate, and everything else you can think of. An increasing amount of capital is being invested in each and every one of those markets. This is what we witnessed during the last cycle when interest rates were essentially non-existent at that time and we just had the money printer go crazy. In general, the most bullish market conditions are when there is an excess of capital and incredibly low to zero interest rates. This is what we experienced during the previous cycle. Do you agree? In essence, what Cryptozar is trying to convey in this article is that there is around a 50% possibility that he will reduce rates by 25 basis points. In addition, individuals believe that there is approximately a 67% likelihood. Now, it is going to be even more than that. We do not have any conclusive evidence that demonstrates that this will be the case. The only thing that we can really rely on is what Jerome Powell has spoken. When she was speaking earlier, she basically indicated that if the job market is where he wants it to be and inflation is where he wants it to be, then he will be satisfied. Do you believe that he is at ease with the idea of cutting the rates in order to allow the economy to begin to flourish? In addition, the labor market has been experiencing difficulties as of late. It has been reported that a significant number of jobs have been lost, with over one million employment being lost in the most recent quarter. And this is a very high number, therefore it should come as no surprise that the following Friday, when we will receive the next report for jobs, is of the utmost importance. In just a few days, this will take place once again. I am curious as to why I believe that any of this is bearish. Is that correct? The idea that lowering rates is beneficial was just stated to you. The difficulty is that the markets have already priced in the possibility that Jerome Powell may reduce interest rates. So there is very little potential for success based on this news at the moment. And there is a significant amount of potential for loss. Do you agree? As a result, it is not going to be a positive thing for the markets if Jerome Powell does not reduce interest rates or if he reduces them by a small amount such as 25 basis points rather than 50 basis points. It is common for people to believe that rate decreases are beneficial, but since the markets have already priced in the rate, it is not beneficial. It is almost as if people are guessing and they are so certain based on the news that is going about that rate cuts are actually going to take place completely. In light of this, I would conclude that if Jerome Powell does not reduce interest rates, it would have a completely disastrous effect on the markets. And this is something that we have witnessed quite recently. And take a look at what transpired when Japan recently increased its interest rates as an illustration. If you are looking for an example, the whole stock market in the United States experienced devastating losses. Taiwan's stock market, which experienced its worst day in its entire history, as well as the Japanese stock market, which suffered its worst day ever. This is the scene that we are about to enter. 
it will not be a good thing if Jerome Powell does not reduce interest rates, especially considering that the markets have already factored in the possibility of this happening. There is a need to exercise caution towards such. Due to the fact that there is a great deal of manipulation taking on in the market at the moment, I would like to strongly advise you all to hold off. It was literally reported by all of the big news channels and, you know, everyone was talking about it and everyone felt it was legitimate. In a previous video, I discussed how the United States Department of Justice issued a subpoena to NVIDIA. Everyone believed this news and it was talked about by everyone. But after that, this is revealed. Specifically, the Department of Justice has not issued a subpoena to NVIDIA according to an official statement issued by the company. Therefore, this news gets spread throughout the world and it is covered by every single one of the leading news organizations that are owned by BlackRock and everything else. After that, it is shown that the information in question is false. I am curious as to why this is such a revoltingly awful and unfortunate event to have taken place at this particular moment in time. Well, Warren Buffett, right, the person that runs Berkshire Hathaway, who has hundreds of billions of dollars under management, actually trillions of dollars under management, guess what he did? Within a span of just two days prior to the dissemination of this information, Warren Buffett had already liquidated all of his technology holdings, resulting in a cash reserve of $250 billion. All of these very same news pieces that basically stated that NVIDIA was subpoenaed by the United States Department of Justice, which caused NVIDIA to drop by almost 10% in a single day, are what I'm trying to get at with all of this. It is the same news pieces that have caused the markets and retail to already price in the possibility that Jerome Powell will reduce interest rates by 50 basis points. These publications have caused the markets to price in this possibility. As a result, what I am essentially saying is that I believe this is a very deliberate move to give investors a great deal of false confidence, and I do not believe that it is going to be a 50 basis point decrease. I think it might be 25 basis points, but when the market's price in 50 basis points, that's not a good sign. And so I just want to mention that if this happens the way that I think it will, based off of what I am seeing, it's going to be a really red day for a lot of cryptocurrencies and a lot of tech stocks. And you know, even real estate probably will have a little bit of an effect on this market as well because of all the mortgages that are out there. As a result, it is imperative that we keep a close eye out for this.